Ted Kaczynski, also known as the Unabomber, the crazy guy in a shed who uh, sent mail bombs to uh, airlines, universities, other people in the technological society that he blamed for the degradation of the the world, the universe, everything. He was in. He was a a not well man. But uh, he came up with a term for people who are, um, you know, too involved in other people's business. They are too involved. We've got to save the whales, save the homeless, save the black, gay, Jewish, Bulgarian dentist, save whatever specialized group. And he called them over-socialized when they become almost, you know, oppressive in their compassion. And I always love that term, over-socialized. You're over-socialized. And um, I've kind of worked on it a bit. I, I can see a lot of people who are over-Christianized. They, they imbibe. They, they get the kind of foie gras fucking pipe in their gullet. And they, they consume the New Testament and uh, the kind of beatitudes of Jesus without incorporating the entire message, which you have to be an all-rounded character. You can't just be a meek little pathetic lover boy because then you'll be conquered and invaded and your children will be brainwashed and your women folk will be enslaved so i keep saying a lot on this channel you know real love requires real hatred you know it kind of goes with the territory um i always try and incorporate my shadow self into everything i do and, and you do notice uh, i'm you know i'm at once a philosopher a lover a compassionate being but I also have a Spartan attitude, both in my day-to-day -day life and in my actions against those who would wish to uh, hurt me or hurt the ones I love. Now, <laughs> I've found myself in some shocking mental situations. I've got to stop whistling when I say an SH. Sh -sh 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 -shock <laughs> shocking situations uh, mentally recently. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this on video, but I was once on a overcrowded train in Scotland going from Tweed Bank in Galashiels up to Edinburgh and the train was overcrowded the windows would not open every single seat was taken every square inch in the passageway was taken and I was looking at the emergency exits I was like six seven rows of seats away from the emergency exit it was a bunch of overweight normal everyday salt of the earth people and um, I was sat there panicking a little bit. I was thinking, shit, I'm a father of three. I cannot die. If there's a, a train crash and smoke starts to fill the cabin, if there's a fire and these people panic, they're not going to, you know, because they're all crammed in like sardines. They're not going to stay calm and then open the emergency exit and everyone exit one by one in a normal fashion. I was going through my mind saying, who am I going to have to trample over, push aside, who, whose ribs am I going to have to break to pull them out of a doorway with my last 60 seconds of breath as a thick, acrid smoke fills the cabin? Translation, who am I going to have to sacrifice to ensure that I can get out of this burning train to go and raise my kids? Savage! But it's not my fault. You know, you, you've got to be at once a Jesus Christ figure, but also a King Leonidas. You gotta be at once, you know, discussing that which is most beautiful in life, in all of reality, love, true love, love of a mother for a child, love of a father for a child, love of a friend who gives up his life for a friend. This is why we fight. <laughs> but if you don't have the kind of really strong attitude of knowing you're going to die anyway, that your, your days are numbered, that if you're gonna die, you might as well deserve it. You gotta be able to say to your men, and I know it's a, a movie version using a Scottish guy to play a Greek guy, but you know, just some quotes from the Gerard Butler, <laughs> Butler interpretation of Leonidas. Give them nothing, but take from them everything. Eat heartily, men, for tonight we dine in hell. Persians, come and get them. When the uh, Persian soldier says, Spartans, drop down your weapons. You know, 
if you're not prepared to kill every motherfucker in the room with an AK-47, if they threaten you, do you really love your... <laughs> I'm getting a bit dramatic here, but you get what I'm saying. Five minutes in, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap it up with a beautiful image. There's a bronze statue here. And uh, to be fair, the council, after me moaning about it for six months, they did clean the Victoria statue and they, they've cleaned this one. It's just unfortunate. So ignore the pigeon shit and just look at the, the, the double Jesus Virgin Mary. Double Jesus. Basically, what the double Jesus here represents is the two sides of the philosopher warrior. King philosopher, warrior fighter. If you're not both, you're not an all-rounded person. So to conclude, I was watching Jonathan Pajot. He's mates with Dr. Jordan Peterson. Lovely guy. Is he French? Is he French Canadian? Is he Canadian? I don't know. But Jonathan Pajot has a YouTube channel called The Symbolic World. And uh, what he talks about in terms of over socialization or over Christianization, he calls it weaponized compassion. So next time some motherfucker comes up to you caring about your safety, oh, health and safety, I'm just looking after your safety, sir. Or, oh, I just need to make sure your kid, or whatever they're trying to fuck with you with. Remember the words weaponized compassion. You're pretending to be kind, but you're allowing your inner demons to spill through and pretend to be the Christ. And that is the Antichrist. Weaponized compassion. So on that note, never let the fuckers win. Never let them breach you. Never let them breach the beach.